Hi, welcome back to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV. We've been out and about in Rome today because it's the first game of the Euros 2020, Italy versus Turkey, and we interviewed some Turkish supporters as we did with some Italian supporters, and those podcasts are already up on YouTube, so you can go and see that. But today, we're going to be talking about the home nations, but especially focused on where my heart is, England. Come on, England. Now, what do we think the formation's going to be? Let's go to Matt first. Yeah, what do you think Southgate's going to do? Um, well, I don't know what he's going to do, but I mean, uh, if, if you're looking at uh, picking our best players, that is a real headache for Southgate at the moment. I mean, you know, you've got, you've got three really good attacking players in Grealish, uh, Mount and Foden, uh, but do they fit in the same team? And, uh, what about Kane? Oh, Kane, Kane's a, Kane's a win. He's, he's just, he's definitely going to play. There's no, there's no way that okay, no, uh, you, any, you, any manager is going to drop Kane. Yeah, but you didn't yeah. mention him, so I was, uh, I was no, a little bit No, but I mean, I mean, I mean okay. it's, it's really what's behind Kane. Um, do we play uh, Sancho or, or one wing? Do we play Sterling on that wing? Do we play... Uh, so hold on, what, what formation would you play? Um, well, I'm, I'm always very conservative when it comes to because uh, I think defense is <laughs> defense is defense is where you build your your, your squad from. Okay. Um, so I definitely will play four at the back. Um, but the four at the back, I think, is uh, is actually where we're we're struggling. You know, I think that that's the weakest part of uh, England's team. All the options up front, I think, we've got a great um, great amount of talent up there, uh, and we can select. Any one, they're interchangeable. Um, we're still going to have a very good team. At the back, I think we're just lacking a little bit, which is why I said that I don't think England are going to win the tournament. Okay, and I, I don't agree with you on England not winning the tournament. I think they will, yeah. But what would what would be the formation that you would like to see, and what would your team be? So we four three three. Um, I play Kane obviously up front. In behind Kane, I'll probably play uh, Grealish as a, almost like a false nine, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I would definitely play for them. Oh, uh, so, did you say false nine? Almost a false nine. Almost a false nine. Is he, is he doing uh, Pep Guardiola here? It's just, uh, I find lately, like, you know, everybody's just talking about, oh, a false nine, a false nine. It's Peter well, it's an number it's, nine. It's an attacker. It's an attacker. It's, an, it's an attacker. But he's also got that freedom to roam, isn't he? So, he's, he can go out wide. And then he can come back in central. Yeah, but hold on. So that, that's what, 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 what is. What's Harry Kane doing? Harry, Harry, Harry Kane's number ten, so he's like you know he's the main striker. He's right up there up front. So we are playing with a striker. Yeah, yeah. Not like Pep. But then we didn't play with a striker. Well, but he said that he would like to play a different. Okay, okay. Well, I like I like to see Foden on left wing, okay. um, ahead of Sancho and ahead of Sterling, okay. uh, which. Uh, but then it's like where to put Mason Mount. Mason Bounce had an amazing season. He's a little bit more mature than Foden as well. So it's like, do you go with a bit of experience? But can't you put them both in? I don't think they fit. I don't think they fit. Okay. And we used to have this argument with Lampard and Gerrard. We well. did, we did. But uh, it's, like, it's, it's like two players trying to play the same position. Is it ever going to work? Um, and I just don't think it is. I think we've just got too much talent almost to, to, to select that. But that's not where England's uh, Achilles heel is. Achilles heel is defence. And yeah. that's why they're going to win. Okay, okay. Can I just, can I just, can I just yeah. add? I mean, it's quite, quite interesting as well because like, the team that are playing Italy tonight, Turkey, they're, um, they're actually also one of the youngest teams pretty much in the tournament. They've got a bit of a and mix of experience in there. Yeah, they, they do. They're striker. Yeah. Um, he, 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 you know, it'll be his last tournament. But anyway, they have a very young team. And I think the two youngest teams in the tournament are Turkey and England. Really? I think... I think well, we've got some experience in there. I mean, I mean you've, got, you've got John Stones in there. You've got Harry Maguire in there. He's been yeah. there. He went, to, he went to World Cup. John Stones, obviously, that 2016 now, 2017. Uh, Is Harry Maguire fit, though? Uh, well, Harry Maguire is not going to be playing until the... The quarterfinals. Well, exactly. If we, if we, if we so, so we don't have Harry. Well, we Maguire always take an moment. injured player, don't we? It's like it's, this is England. Maybe, we always take an England yeah, player, you, injured player. Yeah, to but, the final. but in, in your analysis, you can't count Harry Maguire today. Right. So, so who, who's going to play along with John Stones? Who's, who's going to play with John Stones? Well, and this is why I'm saying that is where England's weakness is. 
because John Stones is a very good player, but he needs a leader alongside him. And that and that show this year, when Diaz came in the city, John Stones became a different player. But without that leader next to him, John Stones is not the same defender. I think what, what do you think, Keith? What do you think? What, what do you think uh, about what formation do you think they'll play? I would like to the, the same as Matthew really, the same as Matt. Four like, three three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean I don't want to see him play five at back. Um bring backs overlapping. I mean we have got a few good good players in that position, but I don't know, but, but I, I, think, I think we've got actual proper wingers, haven't we? So why we have got proper wingers that? in the fast and yeah. it's not like I've seen Steve Bruce play it all season and it it's uh, I hate it. I hate it. It's negative, isn't it? It's, negative. it's very negative. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to get forward. You, you're kind of letting teams come on top of you, you know, like that. So, okay. yeah, definitely uh, four for three. Um, as for Harry Kane, I mean, yeah, I, ho I, I hope he has a sensational tournament. But the last tournament he was in, yeah, he got the golden boot, but he did score three against Panama. To be fair, out of the six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a class striker. Right? He's a class. Yeah. It's a class no, yes, 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 yes. And, and also, he does actually come. I and mean, this is also why maybe Grealish isn't the right player to mm. play there because Kane does actually come back a lot. Yes. And it acts as like the, you know, like a Mark Hughes number 10 sort of yeah. like, where he comes, takes the ball, distributes it, and it's, and it's who's he going to distribute it to? Because Grealish isn't as attacking yeah. uh, a mind player, but. Who else have England got really to go there? I mean, there's an oldie, we've got uh, what, you know, who, Tammy Abraham, I don't even know if he's been selected, I see Tammy Abraham, so. Uh, uh, who who, who, who have we got to play that that sort of role off, Kate? Oh, well, the problem with the England squad is there's been lots and lots of uh, problems with this guy's injured, this guy's injured, this, are they going, at, he's coming back, he's not coming. So we we, we won't kind of know until. Uh, oh, I, I, the mean, I remember the game, one World really. Cup Rooney was injured. I remember one World uh, Cup Beckham was injured. They took them anyway. Personally, okay, I I agree with both of you. I think Southgate's going to play a four-three-three formation. Yeah, me, I would probably play a four-two-three-one formation. Yeah, but you know, oh. uh, four-three-three is, is, is four, the way two, they. Two, two defensive midfielders. I would play two defensive midfielders, okay, but ball playing players, yeah, okay, who can pick out a pass. I am just going to pick out a pass. Well, exactly, that, exactly, it? exactly. So, you know, you have that, uh, you know, that uh, security in defence, but you also have the attacking flair, you know, the, the ball players that can just split the defence. Uh, I, I, I prefer that formation, but that's not what we're going to play. We're going to play a 4 3 3, let's be honest. I think that um, Jordan Sancho will play. I think Harry Kane will play. I think that. Do Jordan uh, Sancho will play? I think he'll play. I think Sancho will play. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. He's, uh, he's a player. Yeah, so yeah. No, no, no debate about that. I think Foden will play. I also think and he'll put Mason Mount on. I think he'll paint. But look, he he he'll, he'll organise it. If you're playing four three three, then you'll have your three attacking players, and probably Foden will be there. Yeah, on the wing. Yeah. Uh, Kane in the middle, Sancho on the other wing. Then you've got the three across the centre, okay? And I think Mason Mount will be there, So, yeah? so where are you putting forward, you putting forward on the right wing? I don't know where Southgate's going to put him, whether he's on the right or the left, okay, right? Well, what, Sancho or Folder are going to play probably wing mm. here. Well, I, I would hope so. So he'll decide. Yeah, you know, I mean, he'll I mean Folder's played play, play. play through the centre. A little bit I mean, that, that's what I would. And he's played Fox 9 as well, so, but. Um, yeah, but you got. You but got I, think, I think actually Korea's is a better you got, option. You, yeah. you got Harry Kane there, yeah. Look, Bukayo Saka, okay, has played in different positions this season. Yeah, he's yeah. played on the right, he's played on the left, yeah. He's played, you know, he's left back, back, you know, yeah, exactly. So, I've always had this philosophy is if you can play football, you can play anywhere. That's my philosophy on football, but that's just me, okay? Um, and then, yeah, you've got, you've got your, you know, your stronger positions, okay? But Bukayo Saka is a classic example. I don't think Bukayo will start. Uh, I don't know what the injury list is at the moment, to be totally honest. I haven't looked is, at it. Is, is, Maguire, well, Maguire, Maguire did his, did himself in... Uh, Maguire's back in training. 
Mm. It's back in Drake, but it's, it's not back in Drake. He, he, he won't play. He won't partake in the first few games in the group. But then, then again, you know, this. this, this We're well, talking about quarterfinals. If he doesn't even get to the quarterfinals. Well, you know. I don't think he will get to the quarterfinals. I mean, that's my prediction. I mean, it's we're, gonna, we're, 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 we're likely, if we win the group, it's we're Anderson. likely to meet Portugal, look. France, or Germany yeah, in the second round. Yeah. Do, uh, by the time you get to the quarterfinal stage, it's quite likely England might be out. Look, yeah. the, the, the defence, I think, will be Stones, uh, Mings. I don't, Jewel, Mings. I don't think he'll Mings. I think he'll play Tyrone Mings. Really? Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he'll put Phillips in there as well. So. Mm -hmm. Look. I hope he doesn't play Tyrone Mings. To be honest. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I really don't I was, hope he I doesn't. Just, just yeah, but we're talking about South, Gareth does, Southgate. Does anybody know if Jordan Henderson's fit? He, he, played, he played towards the end of the season, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, he's maybe not 100% fit. No, he's not. He got injured. He's, yeah, he's, so uh, he's not a member. Because I'd, like, he's, I'd he's, like to see he's Jordan Henderson on his playing again, though, isn't he? I mean, you know, from Sunday, like, but... Uh... <laughs> Will he put him on? Will he start him? Did he start? No, I think it was somewhere else. Did he uh, start him, but he did. No, I, I honestly, <laughs> I think he's, I think he's uh, amazing on the pitch. He gives off uh, a great... He's um, great. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah so I think he's good to have. He's a leader as well. Yeah, yeah. Which is what exactly. England need. And actually, without Howard Maguire, who is also a bit of a leader and um, you know uh, but you need you need a captain but you also need a leader in defence yeah and I think absolutely. that is where England yeah. are lacking yeah absolutely uh, but we talked we talk about England we talked about I, England. I don't know if Harry Maguire is the guy but anyway all right so, uh, so look, let's go on to Wales and Scotland <laughs> hold on I've given my predictions on England I reckon they're going to win okay the tournament and that's my prediction I think but, they're going to get knocked out in the second round uh, whatever. Okay, right. Let's, let's let's talk about the other two home nations. Keep back. Keep back. What's your prediction? Bring them. No, he's giving it out on the last podcast. I two nil. I don't think they're going to win. No, no. In, in, uh, as far as oh, the, the as tournament. As far as the tournament. Sorry. No, I don't think they'll win. Where do you think we'll arrive? I think we'll get to the quarterfinals. Yeah. I think our hardest, our hardest game is definitely going to be the second round. Because that's Portugal. If we win the group, that's yeah. Portugal, France, or Germany. Yeah. I mean, all teams that have beaten us yeah. in major tournaments. I mean, and have got exceptionally good squads. Um, We've so got an exceptionally good squad. Okay? We have. We, don't We've look got at the, the past. Manager. Let's look at now. We've got the wrong manager. That that is that is probably our weakest link. Okay, that is probably and, our weakest. And link. also, not a great defence. So we've talked about England, but. What about uh, Scotland and Wales? I mean, let's talk about Scotland first. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what do you think about Scotland, Pete? Well, in my heart of hearts, I mean, I really hope they get out of the group. I really do. And I, th I think they will. I think they will. I mean, that'll be the first time in a, in a major tournament, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, I, Scotland fans, that will be an achievement. Oh, massively. Yeah. It was an achievement for them to get there, if you consider that they haven't been in a tournament for over 20-odd 20, 20 years. Right, 20, uh, 23. 23 years, yeah. yeah. Uh, 98 uh, yeah. France. Uh, so, yeah. it's great to have them here, in the sense. Um, yeah, as I honestly think they're really going to get stuck in, and I think they're a team. I think they can get out of the group stage, but... So you know. I, I had them beat in Czech Republic. Uh, oh no, I had them drawn against Czech Republic. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry to say I don't think they're going to get out of the group. Right. Um, I think they're going to draw games rather than win them. And I think that's always been Scotland's problem. It's like, they're, they're all, always the nearly boys, you know, they're, they're all almost there, you know, in touching distance of qualifying uh, yeah. out of the group, uh, but just draw the game rather than win it. Aye, uh, well, that's a very re realistic look to it. So Sorry about that, yeah. yeah. Sorry to be realistic about yeah, it. Yeah. Sorry, Scotland. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what do you think, Chad? Well, personally, uh, and I, I said this in the last podcast, okay, love Scotland. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of my boys out of Scottish, okay. Shout out to my boys in Scotland, especially Edinburgh. But... I don't think they're going to get out of group stage. I don't see it. Okay, they have a lot of good players. They do have good players, yeah. But if you look at the the history 
Okay, I don't have that that confidence. That's got well, they're in a tough group as well, aren't they? Because they're in yeah, yeah, they they the, they the, the England, Croatia, Croatia have finished um, uh, uh, runners up in the, uh, the, the world, last World Cup. Um, you know, and they've got Switzerland, who are actually you know a decent team. You know, they're not. Yeah. You know, out of all all the uh, sort of like, I'd say second, the, the te- teams that basically just want to get out of the group, Scotland are in. The second of his group. Yeah, but when you when you talk about Wales, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, Scotland, Scotland. Why am I talking about Wales? I'm talking about Scotland. Talk about Wales in the group, mate. All right, okay. You know, you you're talking about some players. That, I, I, I'll I'll talk about Tierney. Excellent, yeah. absolutely brilliant player. Okay, okay future nice. captain of our captain yeah, of our. But even though they have some good players, I just don't see it happening. Okay, and I hope that the Scots prove me wrong. I'll be the first one to put my hand up and say, you know what? I'm wrong. I think, I think, I think, I think they're missing a striker, aren't they? They're missing a striker. Uh, you know, they're missing someone who can get them the goal to win them a game. I think, I think they can play really well and they can stifle an opposition. But it's just that... They're, the not known, up for, up for, they're, they're not known for scoring lots of goals, though. They're not. They're not. Yeah. They're not uh, I mean, the last great... Scottish striker is Duncan Ferguson, I think. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, Duncan Duncan. Yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a while ago, though, yeah? Yeah, I mean, but I think that is really the last decent striker. I think Ferguson was I think Ferguson was after yeah. Kloster, wasn't he? Yeah, really? but, but Ferguson was better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, Alan McCoy is obviously a great, great striker for Rangers. Uh, uh, but then, I mean. Okay, you know, it's in the lap of the gods, it's up to them, and if, you know, I, I, I think they're one of those teams that... Lap of the gods? Well, it is, because in the sense... Or in the, we're in the Roman sorry, temple, sorry, you know? Sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, hold on, the players have got nothing to do with it then, is that well, what you're it, saying? It's, yeah, it, obviously, but... It's a cup competition, so... It's a cup competition, and there's a lot of luck as well. Yes, okay, anything can happen in cup competitions, which are, that's true, but we're talking about the group stages now, okay? Very we're talking about three well, games. I, mean, uh, so. I, think, I think we're kind of like 50 50 on that. Well, well actually, uh, 66 33 on this. Uh, are we, no, we're, we're all pretty much in agreement on this. Uh, Scotland, aren't, much. Scotland yeah. aren't going to get out of the group. No, no. no, I'm not. I think they are. You think they are going to get out? Yes. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think they're going out of the group. Okay. So 66? 66, 33. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're moving on to Wales. Moving on to Wales. Uh, Wales had a great tournament uh, last time out in the Euros. Uh, didn't qualify for the World Cup though. So, I mean, in if you're looking at the interim period between the last Euros and now, where are Wales? They're not getting out of the group. Well, listen, they've qualified. Mm. So, you know, they, they did so well in the last one. Mm. You know, they got the semi finals, and that was, you know, that, that was a big surprise, even. They beat Belgium, who were yeah. uh, actually yeah. probably pre tournament favourites. Um, so. And as they went on through that tournament, you know, they picked up and they played better and better. Um, yeah. well, Robson Carney is not going. Uh, who scored the goal against Bale. Right. Uh, they've obviously got Bale. Yeah. He's an amazing player. And Aaron well, Ramsey. Yes. Ramsey as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I think it's a big, big one for Bale, isn't it? He, he has to shine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but the, the, the format of the Euros this year is like the World Cups of old. Yes. Where you used to, you know, you finish third and you can still qualify for the second round. So it's a... Uh, so they have got an opportunity there. But don't you think Gareth Bale, you know, his, his price tag for his club, he was at Real Madrid... Well, Real Madrid don't want him. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently... Not so he's apparently he's price going tag. back, apparently. Because he's got a contract. There's yeah, no yeah. choice. So got a contract there. What I'm saying is, it's a big, big moment for Gareth Bale, right? To shine on a stage. 
No, but it's always Let's been... Let's show us what you know, you're made of. Yeah, you but know? in the past, it's always been a, a big moment for Gareth Bale to shine. Yeah, yeah. So nothing's changed he has there. Shine. He, he, he does shine he every now and again. You know, it's not, yeah, but one he's, not, he's, not, he's not a player that doesn't one player. always produce. You know, he, he, he's not like a shrinking violet. He, he does actually produce sometimes. One player doesn't make a team. No, he doesn't. Two players don't make a team. That's true. That's okay, true. and that's the major problem with Wells. Yeah, you've got Aaron Ramsey and Gareth Bell. Who else, really, have you got that you can say that are world class players? Well, apparently they're world class players. They're world class players, but 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 they're good team players. Um, I think I think that's what Wales have got. They've actually got a good team mm-hmm. in terms of a team that works together. Yeah. But have they got the talent within that team to really progress? I think they'll finish third uh, in their group. Do you think they'll go through? Um, I mean, this is like, well, I mean, unfortunately, you've got Portugal, France, and Germany in one group. Exactly. And you'd expect all three of those to go through. Absolutely. So, really, you're looking at Wales taking one of three places. Um, I, I actually think they will. I think they will go through. I think who they get in the, the, the second round is really important. Uh, if they get a tough team in the second round, that's it. Done. What about you? Do you think Wales uh, will get through? I think they will, but I think they'll go through as best, one of the best thirds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I do think they'll get through. Well, um, I, I have to apologise to the Welsh supporters and my Welsh friends. I don't think they'll get through. I'm right? sorry, I don't. Okay, right now. We have a situation here. Yeah. We have a situation here yeah, where you think Wales will get through, Scotland no. You think both will get through. Mm-hmm. Okay, right? Where do you think they're going to arrive? You know, what is their, going to be their achievement? When, you know, how far do you think they'll go? Well, I think, I think, I think for both teams getting out of the group is a real big achievement. You look at where Wales, did they go from there though? You, you look at Wales group, it's uh, Italy, Turkey, Switzerland, Wales. Mm. That, that's a tough group. Uh, you look at Scotland, they're in with England, Croatia and uh, Czech Republic. That's, that's, why, a tough group. that's why I think they won't go through, but yeah, yeah. you do. Um, so where do you think they'll... they'll... So I think mean, second round is a great achievement for both of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I and I think second round is probably... I think limit. that's where they'll, their limit. where they'll both go. Yeah. I think, well, I think Scotland will be out before them, but um, uh, I, think, I think Wales will probably go out in the second round. But then again, I think England will go out in the second round as well, so... Uh, yeah. And you two are obviously not in that corner. So well, much for patriotism, yeah? <laughs> well, it's, it's not about patriotism, it's just looking no, at who, 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 who are you going to get. Who are you going to get? And England are going to get, probably, if they win the group, which is pretty much likely because we played all the games at Wembley, yeah. we're going to get Portugal, or France, or it's Ger- going to be very or, difficult. Or I Ger- agree. Or Germany. I agree. I agree. And I just don't see us progressing past that game. If we I, do, if we do, I'll hold my hat up and also, I'll say, and I'll say, I'll say, another, England have got every chance of winning that tournament. There's also another really bad factor for Wales and Switzerland that you know they're travelling backwards and forwards from I think Wales played two two, yeah. two games in Baku yeah. uh, back to back and so do Switzerland so, you know, so they, they go out there they, they play they two games and then they, they're back two to four yeah, yeah. and then they're here and that they're could here, be huh? really that's quite terrible you know? yeah, yeah. but to get back to your point okay right I understand what you're saying England okay uh, if they top the group okay uh, they do have a very very hard running to go further. Oh, well, okay. but, and, and, but actually, all the games are played at Wembley, apart from yeah. potential quarter final, which I think is played yeah. here. It's it's in that yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a patriot. <laughs> I'm English. Oh, I'm glad for you. <laughs> uh, I have to go with England, so I'm going with my heart. Thank you much for watching On the Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV, okay? Please make sure to put your comments underneath and subscribe. And we'd like to thank our hosts today, although we're outside and not inside. We're outside the Finnegan's Irish pub uh, on uh, Via Leonina and Salita di Borgia. Salita di Borgia happens to be, okay, the steps of the Borgia family. And Borgia was the first Spanish Pope in the Vatican. Read the book, very interesting. From Misha, thank you very much. 
see you soon. From me, Matthew, thanks for watching. From me, Keith, thank you very much.